in a town called Ario, which nestled in the hills of the western region of Nigeria, where a whisper of death hung heavy in the air. Apostle Joseph Ayo Babalola was prompted to pray on a mountain in Efualai when he was given a vision from God that Ariel was being attacked by a terrifying illness and he needed to locate the town and look for the mountain God would use as the balm of Gilead. When he got to Ariel town, he set out on a quest not for riches or treasure but to find a holy mountain that God had selected. Doubt grand at him as God didn't approve of the other mountains he had earlier approached. Amidst all of this, an elderly man by the name Pas Simon showed up. Pas Simon mentioned a mountain that is hidden and emanates peace and angelic visitation. The sickness still came in the like bandits and ravaged the entire town, killing so many people, both the children and the adults. Panic swept through the town. In a desperate attempt to find solutions, in the idols they had revered for generations. People fled to their shrines. There were cries and rituals performed. Yet, the idols said nothing. Apostle Joseph Ayobabalola persisted on the mountain of mercy like a true light bear. Then, a miracle occurred in the year 1930. God said it was time for a power shift in Ariel and the sickness vanished as quickly as it had appeared. Ariel was met with an overwhelming feeling of relief. After seeing the fertility of their deities, the people of Ariel turned to God of Joseph Ayobabalola. As a result, the mountain of mercy, once a lonely spot, where Apostle Joseph Ayobabalola prayed became a hive of constant prayer and prompt responses. The mountain of mercy emerged as a final barrier against illness, sickness, misfortune, spiritual issues, and problems. Hmm. After 29 years, Apostle Joseph Ayob Babalola passed away. Years went by and people started to forget about the mountain of mercy. But God was busy preparing Prophet Ezekiah Ulupoye Oladeji a man who would ultimately rekindle the genuine spirit, beauty, and aura of the mountain of mercy. Ezekiah was a staunch lover of God who dedicated his life to prayer and service. In fact, it started every year with a 21-day fast and prayer on different mountains at different locations. He lived his life for the service of God. Although he served God wholeheartedly, but he still carried a heavy burden in his heart that broke him every single day. Ezekiah had been married for a while, but his wife was yet to bear a child. Prophet Ezekiah 
decided to continuously seek the face of God by fasting and prayer. He was on one of his routine prayer sessions when God told him to head down to two mountains where he, the Lord of Lords, was waiting to meet him. Prophet Ezekiah located the first mountain, prayed, and then added to the second mountain, which was then called Ido Aju, but now it's called Ido Ajinori. It was on this mountain that God spoke to Prophet Ezekiah, saying, I have heard all your cries and pleas, but I would not answer you now. He then instructed him to head to the mountain of mercy, Ariel, where he would receive new instructions. Upon getting to the mountain of mercy, God spoke to him and told him, I have heard your cry and I have answered your prayers. I would bless you with a female child and I will also bless you with a cup as a proof that I have answered your prayers. Just as God spoke, he did. Years later, in 2003, after 21 days of fasting and prayers, God encountered Prophet Ezekiah and instructed him to start a yearly seven-day revival every month of June. Prophet Ezekiah further asked what the program should be, and God said, Apostle Ayobabalola Power Explosion.